The Pulsar 16 is a puzzling weapon regarding its technical capabilities and design philosophy. First, considering it as an end product would be a mistake. This mobile hybrid air defense system continues to evolve. Also, is it really designed to escort and protect armored and mechanized units as the producer claims? As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Pulsar 16 the short-range air defense system created from Serbian combat experiences. The Pasar 16 takes its name from the initials of Protiv Avionski Samohutni Artillerisko Raketni System, which means Anti-Aircraft Self-Propelled Artillery Missile System. The number 16 refers to the year it was developed, 2016. Since it is still evolving, the technical capabilities of this air defense system have been continuously updated. The transformation has also manifested in its design philosophy. To better understand the Passar 16, let's briefly examine its history and features. Its origins date back to the 1999 Kosovo War. According to some Serbian sources, during the war, Serbian L-70s fired 7,164 40mm rounds and shot down two drones, seven cruise missiles and two air-to-ground guided munitions while damaging at least two NATO aircraft. In exchange, two of them were destroyed. The most effective anti-aircraft gun in the Serbian inventory was the M5359, which shot down two drones, 12 cruise missiles and also damaged a US A-10 Thunderbolt II. Furthermore, it had been a formidable ground fire support weapon since the early days of Yugoslavia's dissolution. The Serbian Weapons and Aircraft Design Institute VTI, and the Air Force Testing Center VTO, developed the Prashka in two versions to address the low hit rate of the anti-aircraft guns. They were simply M5359s equipped with modified Russian R-60 and R-73 air-to-air missiles instead of the guns. Some unofficial reports suggest that during the war, the Serbs used the Prochka RL-4 unsuccessfully, while the RL-2 variant never launched its missiles at NATO aircraft. The outcome was not surprising. The time was insufficient to test, improve and render this highly primitive improvised modification workable. The M5359 and Prashka, based on the old Praga V3S 6x6 truck chassis and also lacked modern fire control equipment, which made it outdated. Combining improved subsystems could make it work. Although Serbia was not the victor, it had two valuable gains after the Kosovo War. First, it had sufficient time to execute a development program properly. Additionally, the combat experience was invaluable. The VTI began developing a mobile air defense system, integrating missiles, a more capable gun, modern fire control equipment and armor protection on a better track chassis. The first prototype was completed in 2016 and revealed one year later. Based on the FAP 2026 BSAV six-wheel drive truck, the first generation of the Passar 16 had a missile armament that consisted of a pair of RLN-1Cs, modified R-13 air-to-air -air missiles. Later, many components and subsystems of the air defense system have changed and three new generations have emerged. This is why many sources, even the official ones, provide different numbers for Passar 16's specifications. The later versions are based on the FAP 2228 BSAV six-wheel drive truck with more powerful engines. Serial production began in 2019 and the Passar 16 was introduced to the Serbian army in 2020. The three-person crew consists of a driver, commander and gunner. The first two sit in the cabin while the other is in the turret. The first generation, which is essentially a prototype rather than an end product, features a 260 horsepower Mercedes-Benz OM402 diesel engine. The 280 horsepower Mercedes-Benz OM906 LA Euro 3 turbocharged diesel powers the second and third ones. The fourth and final generation Passar 16 features the 456 horsepower Cummins ISLE 8.9 diesel engine to counterbalance the increased weight. Although the vehicle has a central tire inflation system and six-wheel drive, its conventional track design limits its cross-country mobility. The Passar 16's off-road speed is 15 km per hour. The first three generation vehicles can withstand 7.62mm rounds and light shell splinters. 
Although they feature a high ground clearance and a V-shaped design, their belly protection is limited to anti-personnel mines, small explosive devices and hand grenades. The 4th generation Passar 16 can withstand 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds and anti-tank mines containing explosive equivalent to 8kg of TNT. Its combat weight is 22,000 kg. This version also includes the RPS-42 active electronically scanned array radars delivering 360-degree enhanced situational awareness. Featuring jamming capability, this radar provides soft-kill active protection. All variants are equipped with smoke grenade launchers. A Passar 16 battery operates alongside a GH band M85 Giraffe radar, a locally enhanced version of the Saab Giraffe 75, featuring a range of over 75 km. The first three versions lack onboard radar. Their fire control equipment consists of a day camera, a thermal imager, and a laser rangefinder. On the other hand, similar to the Stryker A11M Sherat Surgeon Strout, the latest generation of the Passar 16 is equipped with four RPS-42 active electronically scanned array radars, which provide 360-degree coverage and have a range of over 35 km. Thermal imaging and fire control systems are also improved. Thanks to its advanced navigation systems, the air defense system can be accurately deployed into position, transmitted from the command post vehicle. It lacks a firing on the move capability. Its setup time is less than 2 minutes and 4 hydraulic jacks stabilize the vehicle before firing. Thanks to the auxiliary power unit located behind the chassis, all functions, including setup, gun laying, and communication, can be performed even when the main engine is not running. The gunner controls the gun turret using the data transmitted by the command center. It lacks a remote control feature. The later models of the Passar 16 feature a more advanced fire control system that allows for the firing of locally developed 40mm programmable airburst diminishing containing 1100 tungsten pellets. The L70 gun has a 44 round capacity double roll magazine and the Passar 16 also carries a 96 round spare. For extended range engagements, the air defense system utilizes missiles. The initial variant features two launchers for the surface-to-air RLN-1C. As a modified version of the Russian air-to-air -air R-13M, the infrared-guided missile, equipped with an 11.3 kg blast fragmentation warhead, achieves a speed of Mach 2.5 and a range of 12 km. The second-generation Passar 16 is equipped with the Strela 2MA and 9K38 Igla manpads instead of the RLN-1C. As the locally improved version of the 9K32M Strela 2M, the Strela 2MA features a miniaturized infrared seeker, enabling a warhead that is 40% larger and providing 30% greater combat effectiveness compared to Soviet-made missiles. It is effective at a maximum range of 5000 meters and a maximum altitude of 2300 meters. Its maximum speed is Mach 1.3. The dual wayband infrared guided IGLA equipped with 1.17 kg warhead is effective at a maximum range of 5200 meters and a maximum altitude of 3500 meters. Its maximum speed is Mach 1.9. The third generation Passar 16 can also launch the Mistral 3 alongside these two manpads. The Mistral 3 features an infrared imaging seeker and possesses advanced image processing capabilities which allows it to engage low thermal signature targets such as unmanned aerial vehicles and turbojet-powered missiles. The missile, equipped with a 3kg high-explosive warhead that includes contact and active laser proximity fuses, offers high resistance against countermeasures. It has a range of 7 km and a maximum speed of Mach 2.71. The Mistral 3 can perform up to 30G maneuvers. The latest Passar 16 version can fire the newest RLN RFTK and RLN S10 in addition to all the previously mentioned missiles. The semi active radar guided RLN RF, equipped with a 10 kg warhead, is effective at a maximum range of 12,000 meters and can reach a maximum altitude of 8,000 meters. Its RLN TK variant utilizes infrared guidance. The dual-wayband infrared-guided RLN-S10 featuring a 3kg warhead 
is affected by the maximum range of 10,000 meters and can attain a maximum altitude of 5,000 meters. The fourth generation Passar 16 can also be equipped with the two T5 anti-tank missiles, which are a significantly improved local version of the 9M14 Malyutka. And as we all know, the 40mm gun is a powerful weapon against ground targets. Still, due to the track-mounted turret design, the 40mm gun's depression angle is limited while the barrel faced forward, creating blind spots. The crew of the Passar 16 is three people. The air defense system is 8 meters long, 2.5 meters wide, and 3.9 meters high. Its combat weight is 18,500 kilograms. The 280 horsepower Mercedes-Benz OM906 LA Euro 3 turbocharged diesel engine allows for a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour. The vehicle can fort to a depth of 1 meter. The Passar 16 single barrel 40mm 70 caliber gun has an effective range of 4000 meters. The rate of fire is between 240 and 330 rounds per minute. The elevation depression angle of the gun is between minus 3 and plus 90 degrees. The turret can be traversed a full 360 degrees. Serbia, the producer and sole user of the Passar 16, defines its mission as escorting and protecting armored and mechanized units. At first glance, this definition appears overly ambitious for a vehicle with limited cross-country mobility and no fire-on-the-move capability. Yet, recent conflicts have demonstrated that the current battlefield is not fluid. A rapid advance is nearly impossible under the threat of kamikaze drones and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Therefore, protecting armored and mechanized units with an air defense system such as the Passar 16 may not be as unreasonable as it initially looks. All self-propelled anti-aircraft guns also function as effective ground fire support vehicles. The Passar 16 appears to enhance this capability further with its powerful 40mm gun and anti-tank missile launch capability. The Serbian air defense system is more akin to the Russian Pansi than conventional self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. As previously mentioned, it was designed based on combat experiences in the 1990s. In fact, the Passar 16 is nothing but a mobile and protected L-70 gun that combines the finest features of the M5359 and Prashka. The primary design philosophy is to transport the gun and missile combination to the required area as quickly as possible while ensuring protection. Therefore, since it was considered a mobilized towed air defense system, the designers did not integrate the Passar 16 with onboard radar to reduce size, weight and costs. When a lightweight and effective radar became available, they thought why not, and the fourth generation emerged. The recent Indo-Pakistan conflict has demonstrated that a properly modernized L-70 with advanced munitions can effectively address drones, as we previously suggested in our L-70 video. France and Sweden have also introduced vehicles similar to the Passar 16, such as the Rapid Fire and Tridon Mark II. However, they lacked missile armament. The Passar 16 appears to be a low-cost alternative to the Ponce-like systems from one perspective and an updated variant of the good old M5359 from another. Our analysis suggests that the most accurate definition may be that it's a supplement of the Pansi. Serbia operates both systems regardless. Developed based on real combat experiences, the Serbian air defense concept against modern threats appears to be leading the future. Today, the world faces a genuine war threat, not a conceptual one. Therefore, relying on cost-effective weapons grounded in real experiences may be a wiser approach than investing in conceptually superb wonder weapons that remain insanely expensive. Thanks for watching our video, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.